Good evening to one and all. Here again at the Lion Statue at Gun Hill St. George, which was carved in 1868 by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer at Gun Hill Signal Station. The statue depicts the lion resting his paw on a big red round ball, supposed to be a globe, symbolizing the ending of British colonialism. From here, you can get a clear view into the St. George Valley. And you can see into Coy's Church, which is to the south of the island as well. All up to the airport in Coy's Church, you can see. And you can see all up to the now defunct Buckley Sugar Factory, which is in St. George, which closed down in 2002. You can see all to the St. George Secondary School as well. And you can see the St. George Parish Church down here. This is just at the bottom of the hill there when you pass the gun hill going down to the Glebe. St. George Parish Church is the second oldest church in Barbados, which was built in 1641, destroyed by the hurricane of 1780, and rebuilt in 1784. You can even see the Carlisle Bay area, which is on the southwest coast of Barbados. All into Bridgetown, which is the country's capital. Again, St. George is this St. George is in the center of the island, along with St. Thomas. So they don't have no sea nor coast like in these parishes. These are the two landlocked parishes in Barbados. Best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. They're the parishes that carry no sea in them. St. George is the third largest parish in Barbados. And it was carved out of St. Michael between 1640 and 1641. So St. Michael is the mother parish and St. George was carved out of it. St. George is an agricultural parish and it is the parish that fed many Barbadians from the 1600s up until this present day. St. George is my father's birth parish. For those of you who don't know who my father is, that's more that singer that used to sing the Sound of Pebbles a few years ago is my father and he arrived from St. George. St. George is also a parish for land and fertile soil here in Barbados. These last names are in Latin. This is, this is inscripted in Latin and these last names are inscripted in English. Don't go down the road now. So this lion statue is as an iconic landmark. The statue depicts the lion resting its paw on a big red round ball, symbolizing the ending of British colonialism. The lion represents Britain, and the round ball represents the whole world, which states that England wants to rule the whole world, including Central America, United States, United Kingdom most of the Caribbean, parts of Africa, most of Africa, and part of Europe. Behind the line is the Gun Hill Signal Station, which offers more fantastic views of the island than this point. And the, the signal station was built in 1818 as a fortress to signal when the enemies were coming in. It is $15 per entry to enter the signal station and it is, a, it is a property of the Barbados National Trust. The signal station offers 6 out of the 11 parishes view from there and it is 700 feet above sea level. So here look at the land once more. A 
Thank you guys for watching now. And have a blessed evening.